Hello, 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 and welcome to Edinburgh. Good morning. It is a glorious, glorious day here. I am in Holyrood Park in Edinburgh. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite, probably the best, I would say, hiking route up Arthur Seat. Arthur Seat, if you don't know, is the volcanic hill, not quite a mountain, the volcanic hill that we have in the center of Edinburgh. It feels like a mountain because it is quite big. 250 meters roughly, 252 I think. And it's actually quite hard to get up. It's not easy. Um, so it feels like a mountain, but it is actually a hill. 251 meters according to the pack here. There are lots of different ways you can go up Arthur's seat. Probably five or six. And I've been up most of them. But this one here, starting at this car park, which I don't know, actually know the name of this car park, but <laughs> this car park here, which is kind of just outside Middle Bank, which is over there, is probably the best. And I'll show you why. There are probably easier ways to go up and there are quicker ways to go up as well. This might actually be the longest and hardest way to go up because it starts from the lowest point. Um, but I'm going to show you some cool things on the way. I'll put like a full map of this route that I'm taking on the Dreaming of Scotland website. There'll be a link down below, go and check it out. Actually, one of the reasons this place, this, this route up Arthur Seat is one of the best is right at the beginning, you pass by a loch that's very picturesque, full of wildlife. It's right in front of me. See, that's what I'm talking about, look. There's a heron there, doing some fishing. Swans all over the place and other types of birds and stuff. I think he just caught something. There's another heron flying as well over there, right? Very cool. And this is right at the start of this walk. In the last few weeks, we've had some exceptional weather here in Edinburgh. It's been sunny for, you know, quite a few days now in a row. So I cannot promise you that. That's the one thing I cannot guarantee. Not even close. But you might be lucky. This video was filmed at the end of May. May and June tend to be really nice months here in Edinburgh. And as you can see, all the flowers are out. It's gorgeous. First port of call right there behind me. That is St. Anthony's Chapel. You would have seen it from the images I took at the bottom of the, of the lock there. And that's what makes this part of the, this route up Arthur's seat, so special. Because you already start off with something cool and historic. Let's get up there. So we've only left the car park, we only left the car park about five minutes ago and we've arrived here, which already seems like quite a height. In reality it's not. We've arrived here at St Anthony's Chapel or what's left of it. Cool historic site. It's literally just a wall, but it's pretty and you can already get some really good views of the city of Edinburgh. The castle is right there, Calton Hill. It's very pretty. And in fact, you might just want to come up and walk if you're not feeling fit enough to go all the way to the top just to come here, because you get a good view. It's already a little bit of a nice hike and it's beautiful. And it's nice to have this as a kind of first stopping point. The top of Arthur's seat is a long way to go. Way up there, see? 
Wow, with that gorse bush all the way up at that yellow gorse bush. It looks stunning. I'm gonna go up. Like I said, we've only just started. It's probably been about, I don't know, 50 meters maybe. 200 to go. And this is why Edinburgh is such a special city. Even things like this. In the middle of the city, the city centre. How many cities have something like that? It is awesome. What a beautiful day. Gorgeous. Almost at the top. You can see from here on up, it starts to get a wee bit scraggly. A wee bit more slippy. And bumpy. And steep. We'll make it. Yeah, no worries. Made it to the top. Along with everyone else. <laughs> what a view. My God, what a day. I might be biased and I am biased, right? But on a day like this, when the sun's out as it is today, Edinburgh might be the best city in the world. Seriously. It's absolutely spectacular. Um, just come up the, off the top now. That was a nice wee climb. It was very, very busy at the top there, so I didn't want to do any videos, but I wanted to conclude here with a couple of like kind of frequently asked questions slash top tips for coming to Arthur's seat. Because the first question a lot of people ask when they, they think about Arthur's seat and come to Edinburgh is do you need to be fit to climb up Arthur's seat? And my answer is kind of. I don't really consider myself fit at the moment, but I'm trying, I'm going to the gym regularly. Um, and I can get up Arthur's seat with relative ease. I mean, it's not, like, it is a challenge. Like you go up and you, you feel sweaty and your heart rate goes up and it's physically exerting, but you can do it. And people of all different fitness levels made it. And I really mean all different levels of fitness levels. Uh, and also people saw people of all different ages. I saw literally kids who must have been, you know, three or four years old walking up on their own. I saw parents carrying babies on their backs getting to the top of Arthur's seat. And I saw people that were double my age, you know, literally in their 80s at the top of Arthur's seat today. So do you need to be fit to get up Arthur's seat? Relatively, but most people can make it is what I would say. And that brings me to my kind of top tips. So, number one, bring plenty of water. You're gonna need it. I didn't bring enough, I brought this full bottle, but um, I'm almost done. Second of all, bring sensible footwear. I tend to come up on trainers. Um, any trainers with good grip would do. There are come some kind of slippy bits. And actually the worst of Arthur's seat is actually this stuff right here behind me. When you're coming down the hill, this loose gravel, when it's dry, is like ice. So you need to avoid the gravel at all costs. I'd also say to dress for the weather, so on a nice hot sunny day like this, t-shirts and shorts are fine. Um, and if you come in the winter, you know, it's absolutely fine to come up here in the mid middle of winter, even when the weather is not great, you can come up. And I've done that in like, like a hoodie, but you might want to bring kind of some of the waterproofs as well, because the weather can close in up here. Um, 
obviously if the weather gets really bad in winter like kind of icy blasts and really really strong winds then you might want to avoid coming here and i would avoid coming here when it gets dark to be honest because there are some paths you could go off that you could kind of fall and you know go down a big drop basically so i would avoid coming here in the dark in winter time that means you know getting off the hill before four o'clock but in summer you can basically come here until you know midnight and it'll be fine so yeah bring plenty of water wear clothes for the weather what else would i say sun cream something i did not bring today and i am getting absolutely burned definitely bring sun cream in the summer it's another one of the locks here up Arthur's seat there's three locks i think that surround Arthur's seat the one that we started off with at the bottom this one here and then there's the one at duddinson as well duddinson lock so plenty of different things to see when you come up here and i'll just generally say come here and have fun it is a beautiful place to come and visit lots of like nature and the views of edinburgh are, are spectacular bring your camera or your phone take selfies and all the rest of it enjoy it edinburgh is a beautiful city i was so pleased today to see or to hear accents from all across the world i heard people from the states from canada from australia I heard people from all across europe I heard people speaking portuguese from brazil um, I heard people from Japan, people from all around the world visiting Edinburgh right now, and I love it. And I hope you all come and feel welcome, make your own visit, and enjoy it. Beautiful city, one of the most beautiful in the world, and I'm lucky to call this place home, where I was born and bred. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to put a map, a full map, of all the different hiking trails for Arthur's Seat. There will be a link down below um, in a blog post. Go and check it out. That will give you a full picture of all the different ways you can come up Arthur's seat. I think it was like, you know, probably five or six, like I said, different ways you could come up Arthur's seat. Um, some are more difficult than others. Some are quicker than others. Um, the way I came up was probably the longest walking route, but um, probably the prettiest, I would say. Um, but you can also see the crags as well. I missed out the crags. The crags are spectacular. Um, but that's, that's kind of a, like a different route entirely. But you can kind of climb up the crags and then... Um, come up Arthur's Seat right after as well. But yeah, if you're planning the trip to Edinburgh, make sure you come to Arthur's Seat. You won't regret it. No matter if the weather is a little bit worse than it is today, you'll still get amazing views and you'll still get value out of it. And I hope to see you here. Now I'm going to get off this hill now, get back down, get some lunch. Pushing on.